What's up, Fineapples? Welcome back. So today I have a Fashion Nova try-on haul for you. Now, I didn't get too many items. I have them all laid out right there. I honestly didn't remember what I got because I remember I hit up their Black Friday because they had like 70% off to 80% off on stuff and we we're running errands and I was literally buying things off my phone. Like I don't even, that's why I looked at it. I was like, what did I even buy? I did keep it safe. I didn't buy anything too crazy. I bought pretty much like basics and some graphic tees. Uh, I like getting graphic tees so I can wear them during my video. And so it doesn't look like I wear the same thing every single week, even though I am a creature of habit and I don't mind marinating in the same top three days in a row. But Black Friday is always a time of the year where I take advantage of a lot of sales from a lot of clothing uh, brands and stuff like that online. So we are going to get into it. Uh, lots of people want to know my honest opinion and I will be straight up with you. I do like Fashion Nova and their stuff is hit or miss. Same thing with like other brands. There's always going to be a hit or miss or it looks totally different online or on the model. You have to be realistic. Now one thing I do like is that Fashion Nova finally has their own like Fashion Nova curve like site. It's on the same site, but when you click on it, now you don't have to just see like 5,000 different pieces because before, and this was probably like about maybe a year ago, two years ago, it was never categorized and it was almost like, oh, we just put the plus size just because we needed the sizes. And that honestly made me feel really upset and discouraged, which is annoying. I still bought from them. I had to like go through everything. You couldn't just put like dresses or whatever. Now it's like it's own oh, boom, site on the site, you know, when you click on it, it just goes to that category and everything is organized and I really appreciate that. The only downside I can say is when you do return stuff, you obviously have a time limit and you will not get any money back. You're just gonna go ahead and get a credit back. Now, I will say every single order that I have ordered from Fashion Nova, I have always had to get a credit back. There's never been one order where I just loved everything and that's just being very honest. But the plus side is that the clothes aren't too expensive, so it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm $150 deep in all these items that I don't like. You know, everything is pretty much affordable, so yeah. That's my honest opinion on them, and I do like them. Okay, we're gonna get right into the first top. Now, I am a fan of graphic tees, and this one's called Expensive Taste or something. Link all the pieces down below. I know sometimes they sell out or you can't find them, but I got this one right here. It's like a charcoal t-shirt, and I ended up getting a 1X. Now, extra large fits me, but because of my chest size, like it does stretch out the top a lot, and I have gained a little bit of weight. I actually lost some of my quarantine weight, which I'm very happy of, but I haven't really gained too much. I'm just more like soft now, but but because of my chest, I like getting a larger size and top. So again, go by that. And also I am tall. So it kind of gets annoying when you get an extra large and so tight on the top. And then it seems like it's a little short, but this one is honestly perfect. It is a one X. I think it has like the perfect amount of flow where it's not like too tight and it's like really comfortable, perfect to like wear with jeans. So it's basically just like a pink lip with diamonds going down the mouth. I just picked something because I liked the lips and the the vibe it was giving, but yeah, just super comfortable. See, it kind of has like a little distressed vibe going on, so I really like that. Next up, I got another 1X, and for reference, I am a size 14 and I am 5'9". I got the Lily Crew neck top, and this one's in the shade khaki. So this is just like a plain like nude top. I like having these nude tops to kind of like have layers, and I like it because you can kind of dress it up and accessorize it and stuff like that, but yeah, just like a regular nude top. Uh, definitely tighter than the last one. It has some really nice stretch though, but I really like this t-shirt and you can't go wrong with nude. The material feels really nice and soft. It feels almost like some of my Nordstrom shirts that I get from the anniversary sale, so that's always a plus. I'll let you know about material because sometimes the material is so rough that I'm like, Dude, I'm about to get rash like right now. So this one is really nice and soft. And this next shirt, I will say, runs a little bit larger than the other one X's. I probably could have gotten an extra large, but I'll keep it because maybe it might shrink. But this one is a little bit too baggy. I don't like it when it's too baggy and it doesn't give you any shape. Um, but this is definitely like a more relaxed feel. You can always like knot it up or something like that. But this one says, the bags under my eyes are designer. So I'm reading through the thing, through the viewfinder. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. Just a good everyday tee. I did not get any dresses. I did order some dresses from Forever 21. I plan on doing a try on haul for them too. I went a little bit more wild on theirs because I found like, I don't know, their stuff has really been coming up and I always find like the best stuff at Forever 21. So again, Black Friday, a lot of 70 to 80% off. 
I went ham. And then there was like even more percentage on the clearance. I was like, yes. Their plus size section has expanded a ton, way more like within all the years. So it just like makes me excited about it. It makes me feel like, yes, there's more options, you know? Um, but yeah, this one's really cute. Just runs larger. I really didn't get any like fancier going out stuff because you know, what's going on? I have a feeling this is gonna be like the same fit. This one is, over it. I don't know. I like like those single sayings or whatever, but okay. Now this one happens to go even longer than the other one. So it's covering my Pikachu right here and I have leggings on. So yeah, this one is much longer. I actually like this because sometimes the shirts, it's like, why does the kitty always have to be out? So this is nice because I can wear leggings and not have to worry about I don't know, like getting a camel toe or something like that. Let's just be straight up with each other, girls. So yeah, this one's much more baggy. I really like it. This is a 1X, way more relaxed and probably the most relaxed out of all the shirts and also the longest, but yep, over it. Just like, you know, those days where you're just like, I'm over it, but not necessarily like where you're negative. You're like, I'm over it. I'm living my life. That's why I got it. Let me tell you, because I don't want to be like negative. I take this as I'm over it, like I don't care, like I'm living my life, I'm doing me, like why are you worried about me or why are you trying to chime into my life, like I'm over it, aka over you or something like that, you know, so that's why I like this shirt, like I'm over it because I'm one where it's like, I don't deal with BS, I don't deal with like stupid little things that are a waste of time, so that's why I got this. Okay, so this top is called the Pull My Strings and I wasn't sure because one, these tops usually when they're already cropped or shorter, they're even more short on me. And also, and no offense to anybody who has a smaller chest, I'm not saying, oh, look at my boobies and all that. A lot of these tops are made for either smaller chests or people who already have fake boobs, which I am all for fake boobs. Like in the future, I would love a lift and to fix my boobs so they're just like up and I don't have to wear a bra. Like I'm all for it. If you wanna do that, then do it. I wanna do it in the future. But um, I actually really like this top because it's not too short on me. I got a 1X and I think that's why it's okay. So it goes a little bit longer, but as you can see, I have high-waisted leggings on right here and it looks really cute. It's super relaxed. I like the top and it feels really nice. This top totally reminds me of, I don't know if you guys have gone to any like beach boutiques or anything like that. And you know when they have like those super fancy tops and they're kind of like plain, but like a top like this would be like $125 in a boutique by the beach. Like this is what this top reminds me of. It's super cute, really nice and comfortable. I love the 1X size because it's just long enough, really cozy, and I don't feel like it's too short where I don't know, it just feels really good and I like it with the high-waisted leggings. And I like the way it makes my chest look. It just covers just enough, it's not too low cut. That's what I've noticed with a lot of Fashion Nova stuff. Sometimes it's so low cut, I'm like, dude, is everybody just showing their freaking pepperonis everywhere? I honestly thought this was gonna be the item that I was gonna for sure return. <laughs> okay, so again, another basic. I got this in a 1X and I remember I got this because I thought that this would be really cute with like biker shorts or long leggings because it goes down so long. It covers the butt right there and it's very long. It's very, like I'm 5'9", so if you are on the shorter side and you get this, it's gonna be extra long on you. So if anything, maybe size down because this is pretty oversized, like look at all this room on my arm, but it is very cozy for me. It's been, it's been cold for me, for moi. I get cold at 68. I'm from California, you guys. Laugh all you want. That's just what my body is used to. So, but yeah, this one is super cozy and the material feels super, super soft. And I like the shade. It's like a very nice like mauve, like a dusty mauve. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. I have my ring light on and all the lights around just to make it a little bit brighter because it was kind of dark, but yeah, I really like it. I think it's cozy. It's like one of those like ugh, shirts that you can just like lounge in or marinate. I finally found something I plan on returning. Actually, two things. So first up, I've already gotten this top before. I don't know why I rebought it. This outfit I accidentally got in a 2X. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm pretty sad because a 1X would look so cute. It's huge on me. It's like, if you guys see how much material, it's just way too big. I accidentally got this wrong size. I mean, even the band of the leggings feels kind of loose and it's just way too big. I just looked at myself in the mirror and I legit look like a potato sack. Like, I don't know where the hell I'm going with this one, but I don't want to be scalloped. Ooh, there's my little joke right there. <laughs> 
Okay, so next up I have some jeans on. I'm gonna show you. Now, these are supposed to be booty lifting jeans. I just saw myself in the mirror. They're not really lifting. And also, you guys, I have the worst look with Fashion Nova. Every other brand, I'm a size 14, and with Fashion Nova, I have to like go up a size, so I got a size 16, but even the 16 kind of feels kind of weird on me. So this is a high-waisted jean, and it still feels a little, like a little snug. Not like totally where like I'm flowing over, but it just kind of feels funny. Maybe it's because of like the booty lifting, lifting factor, but this is what they look like. Are they lifting? I literally have no booty gains, no gym, no nothing. They are definitely high-waisted. They feel okay, I'm gonna have to see, but the only thing is that they smell very, very cheap. Like they smell like a really cheap dye. They're kinda tight, they're definitely high rise. I'm not like the biggest fan of high rise um, jeans. I like high, um, high rise leggings, but jeans are kind of, I don't know, I'm not sure about it. At least they button, because if I got a size 14, no Fashion Nova jean ever buttons on me that's my usual size, size 14. So um, this is definitely a brand where I always have to go up, but I have had no luck with Fashion Nova jeans at all. Okay, then the last thing I ended up getting was this lounge set. Now I really like it, the only thing is, it's kind of like a thin material, so you can kind of see like my lower pooch a little, but see like my lower belly, but what can you do about it? This little long cardigan. And I think this one's really cute, like I said, compared to that other one, I feel like it makes you feel almost like a potato sack, like it doesn't make you feel cute. And something like this, I'm like, ooh, yes, I can look cute at home. You know, just to kind of like liven up the spirits of like, do I want to lie like a potato sack while eating potato chips or do I want to feel sexy while eating my potato chips? That is it for my haul. I'm gonna have to think about the jeans. I'm kind of scared because I don't want it to stain on anything or hit against any kind of purse or surface. It seems like it might bleed a lot in the washer. I'm kind of scared because the smell is very, very strong. The potato sack um, where I'm also going to return and then I'm also gonna return this top. I'm not gonna try it on because I don't really care for it. When I got it, I didn't get to return it in time. But I have worn it like in some videos because it's just too short on me and it's like, it's cute, but I don't know. I feel like you have to be shorter and it doesn't look good because when you have like a larger chest, it almost makes you look too heavy set on, like heavy on top. I think you guys know what I'm saying, right? Like when you look top heavy and it makes you... I don't know, it's just like not flattering. You have a Forever 21 haul that's gonna be coming up and I finally ordered some clothes from Misguided. I have never ordered from Misguided before and I feel like I've been missing out because they had some really cute stuff and a Black Friday deals. I'm like, this is the best time to order for my very first order, but yeah. So this is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Look out for those future try-ons. Let me know down below another brand you guys might want me to try on. And I think that's it. All right, love you fine apples and see you in the next one. Mwah! Boop, boop.